Good evening, welcome to Yoga with Katie and Connie. We will start in the line down position, so make your way to your mat. Bend both knees, your spine will automatically release. Taking a few calming breaths here. So we're gonna close our eyes, soften your face, relax your jaws, separate your teeth. Let it go of all your stress and worries. Focusing on your breath. When you inhale, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Paying attention to your breath. That you have arrived on your mat. Set your intention for today's class. Couple more breath here. And we're gonna slowly wake up the body by wiggling your fingers and your toes. Rotating your ankles and your wrists. Gently turning your leg left and right. Bring your legs together, point your toes, inhale your arms up above the head. Full body stretch. Exhale, I'm down by your side. One more time, inhale your arms up above the head. Rip cage rising. Exhale, and down by your side. Bend both knees. Drop both knees to the right side. Raise your right arm. Roll over to the side of your body. Coming into a fetus position. Let your blood pressure get adjusted. When you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. If you cannot sit cross-legged, just sit in any comfortable position. Shoulders relax down from your ears. Stomach and chest proud. Stretching out the neck first. You to shoulder extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to lie or support the head. And lay the neck the side of your neck. Stretch. Release any tension that you may have. Staying here for three, two, one. Slowly go to the other side. You to shoulder extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head. Lengthening. Stretch. Couple more breath. Slowly come back to center. Shoulder stretch, right arm up and across. Pull back, creating resistance. Chin is away from the body, looking forward. One more breath, slowly release. Same arm up, relate the first. Place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow. Tricep stretch. Chin up, eyes looking forward. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, binding hands behind your back. One more breath and slowly release. Shake it up, get side, arm up and across, pull back. Creating resistance. Shoulder stretch first. One more breath and we'll slowly release. Same arm up, lengthening. Place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide out. Tricep stretch. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead. So don't worry about binding hands if you're not able to do it. You can also practice doing this by using your yoga strap and bringing the fingers close to each other. Now we're gonna slowly release, really shake it up. Coming into a side bend. Inhale your arms up, we lengthen in the center. Exhale, bend towards the right side. Bending the elbow, small room to come down. Reach and stretch. Slowly come back up. We lengthen the spine in the center. Exhale to the other side. Bending the elbows, more room to come down. Top arm is the crescent moon, looking up. Now we're gonna inhale, center again. Exhale, twist. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Turn a little bit of back. Turning the neck as well. Stretching our lower back muscles. Massaging internal organs. Helping you to digest and detox. 
One more breath, and we can slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up, forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release the other side, opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Don't lean back too much. With every exhale breath, try to turn a little bit more, turning the neck as well. Staying here for three, two, one. Slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up, forming a crescent, looking up. And we're gonna slowly, slowly release hands on your thigh. Sitting up nice and tall. And we're gonna go into torso turn. So we're starting our small circle. Gradually do a deeper and deeper torso turn. Moving your shoulders as well. Warming up the spine. When you're in the center position, we're gonna go the other way, reverse. Touching all four corners of your space. Feel free to move your shoulders. And we're gonna slowly come back to center to release. Inhale your arms up, we lengthen. Exhale, bow down. Walking the fingers forward, elbows off the mat. Shoulders relax down. Chin is away from the body. Neck and spine in one straight line. Couple more breath. And we're gonna slowly walk the hands over to the right side as far as you can go. Feel the length in the side of your body. One more breath. And we're gonna slowly walk the hands over to the other side. Now feel the stretch on the other side of your body. Slowly, slowly coming back up. Coming into a neutral tabletop. Spread out your fingers. Wrists underneath the shoulder, knees underneath the hip, top of the feet on the mat, neutral spine. Getting ready for cat and cow. Inhale, draw up your belly, chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, round your back as large as you can. Pull your belly in tight, looking down into a cat. So we're gonna do it a few times at your own pace and your own breath. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between vertebrae. Warming up the spine. Can and cow also help people to relieve back pain. Two more times. And one last one. Slowly, slowly come back to center, swaying side to side with this tension in your wrist. Take an inhale the center, exhale, turn over the right hip, squeeze the shoulder and hip together. Inhale, center, exhale to the left, forming a C shape in your spine. One more set, inhale, center, exhale to the right, let the hip drop. Inhale, center, exhale. To the other side. Slowly come back to neutral, sway side to side. Coming into arm balance, right arm and left leg out, right thumb to the sky, back toes down. Neck and spine in one straight line. Engage your core abdominal muscles. We're staying here for three, two, one. If you need to release, release, otherwise, we're turning, grab a hold of back foot. Lifting it up so that the thigh is parallel to the mat. One more breath and slowly release. Sway side to side, release tension in your wrist. And we'll repeat on the other side. Left arm and right leg out. Left thumb to the sky, back toes down. Looking down, staying here for three, two, one, if you need to release, release, otherwise we'll turn and grab over the back foot. Lifting it up so that the thigh is parallel to the mat.
One more breath and slowly release, swing side to side. And we're going to thread the needle next. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, slide through the opening, dropping the right shoulder down. Left arm can be out in front of you or wrapped around your waist. Now, beginners, you can stay here. For those who wish to put more body weight on the shoulder, extend the left leg out on your toes or off the mat, any variation you like. So don't worry about the back leg if you find it challenging to balance. Both hips are level. All the way is in the shoulder, very little weight in the head or neck. So as a matter of fact, the head can move. And just be mindful if anyone who has any shoulder issues, injury or surgery. One more breath and we're gonna slowly, slowly release using the left hand to push yourself up. And we're gonna repeat on the other side. So as always, we listen to our body to avoid injury and do what you can within your limits. Thread the needle on the other side, left arm up, and we're gonna thread it through this opening, dropping the left shoulder down. Right arm can be out in front of you or wrapped around your waist. So beginners, you can stay here. Those who wish to challenge themselves, extend the right leg out on your toes or off the mat, or right hand, grab hold the right foot. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. So if you find that it's challenging to balance, don't worry about lifting the back leg. One more breath and slowly, slowly release, using the right hand to push yourself up. Now we're gonna get ready to come up. So we do a down dog, spread all your fingers, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up, coming into a down dog, pushing the mat away. Release the head down. Feel free to walk the dog out by alternating bending your knees. If you have very tight hamstrings, slightly bend the knees. Inhale to come up on your tippy toes, stretching out the toes. Exhale to lower the heel back down. One more time. Inhale up on the tippy toes. Exhale to lower the heel back down. Inhale, come forward to high plank. Wrists underneath the shoulder, toes underneath the hips. Exhale to down dog. And we'll repeat. Inhale, come forward to plank, not sticking the butt up, not sagging. Exhale to down dog. Slowly walk forward towards the hands, coming into a forward bend. All 10 toes facing the front, legs are heavyweight. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows or behind your legs. Lengthening the spine, stretching our hamstrings, lower back muscles. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. Just be mindful that head is below heart. So if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out of it. Couple more breath here. And we're gonna get ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale, halfway up to flat down. Exhale, to slowly rise up to standing. Let your breath pressure get adjusted. After forward bend, we're gonna go back bend to counter. Interlace the finger behind. Knuckles down and away from you. Lifting chin up and half back. We're not pushing the hip forward. Shoulders and hips are level. Chin is away from the body. Feel the pinching shoulder blades. Opening up the lung, half chest. Stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up and head back. Also improving your posture by lifting the chin up and head back and opening up the chest. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. Coming into a goddess. So stuffing your legs about three feet apart, toes are pointed out, hands up by your chest. Take an inhale first, exhale, sink. So up and down movement, not forward backwards. Slightly tuck the tables in to protect your back. 
Don't push the knee beyond the toes. So be mindful of anyone who has knee issues. You don't have to go very far down. Let's do another three. Two. And one. Lifting the right heel up. Find your balance. Lower down. Lifting the left heel up. Lower down. Lifting both heel off the ground. Try your best. And we're going to stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release the heel down and down by your side. Heel toe, heel toe, bring your legs together, shake it out. Getting ready for sun salutation. So, top of your mat, big toes to touch, align the edge of your feet to the edge of your mat. So whether you're a new or regular yoga practitioner, listen to your body always to avoid injury. Inhale your arms up, back bend, exhale, forward bend. Inhale halfway up to flat back, hands on shin, eyes to people. Exhale, hands on mat. Step the right leg back and then the left leg. Shifting the way forward to plank. Beginners can drop your knees. Tuck your elbow by your side and down. Inhale, cobra for beginners. Or up dog. Shoulders relax. Eyes looking up. Kneecaps up if possible. Exhale to down dog. We stay here for five breaths. Spread out your fingers. Middle index finger facing forward. Stacking your feet, two fists apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Feel free to walk the dog out by alternating, bending your knees. Release the head down. Eyes are looking at your toes, knees are bent back. Now we look between the hands. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale your arms all the way up. Back bend. And then arm down by your side. Into a mountain pose. Tall and strong in mountain. We're going to keep going. Inhale your arms up. Upper salute. Back bend. Exhale. Forward bend. Inhale halfway up to flat back. <laughs> Exhale hands on that. Step or jump back into a plank. Shifting the way forward. Chaturanga is all one way. Elbows lower than the shoulders. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take your time to set up. Shoulders are external rotation. Elbows are internal rotation. Eye of the elbow facing each other. Coming into low lungs on the right side. Inhale, right foot forward towards the right hand. Left knee on the mat. Spreading the hip to the front. Arms up. Holding onto your ball. Front knees 90 degree and top ankle. Palm facing each other. Pinky slightly curving. Shoulders relaxed down from the ears. Eyes looking up. One more breath. I'm going to roll the shoulder back. Interlace the finger behind. Knuckles down and away from you. Slide back bend if you can. Opening up one heart chest. Looking up. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Left arm forward. Right arm back. Turn and look at the back. Stabilize yourself. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release. Both hands on the big toe side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot out to the edge of the mat. Coming into a lizard or dragon. Feel free to come on the baby toe side of your foot. Rocking forward, backwards, side to side. Opening up the right hip more. 
Some more of my students, feel free to come down on your forearms and up on the back toes. For more intensive stretch. So on this side, you want the patient. One more breath. And slowly, slowly release. Pushing yourself back up. Feel toe, feel toe, walking the right foot back to the center of the mat. And we're going to get ready for the twist. Turn the body to the right side. Left elbow on the outside of the palm. Hands your prayer. Press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thigh. More advanced you did, if you want to come up on the back toes, go ahead. Feel free to open up your arms for more resistance. So once again, I do modification on this side. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on mat. Make your way to the back of the mat for a hamstring stretch. If this is where you ask for you, if you can come sit down on the heels, go ahead. So once again, I do modification. I come sit down, point the right toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the lap arm up, lengthen it. Exhale, hinge, leading with the chest. Hold it onto any part of the legs of the toe. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Not rounding the back or dropping the head. If you have very tight hamstrings, slightly bend the right knee. Whatever every inhale breath to prepare, exhale, bring the stomach a little bit closer. One more breath, slowly, slowly release. So we're going to switch side. Make your way to the top of the mat. We'll do a flow here. Hands on mat, tuck the back toes and step the right leg back. Shifting the way forward to plank. Lower down, elbows lower than the shoulders. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, to down dog. Take your time to set up. Good foundation here. Shifting half of the weight towards the legs to minimize the impact on the wrist. And we're gonna repeat everything on the other side. So left foot forward towards the left hand, right knee on the mat, square the hip to the front, arms up, holding onto your ball, palm facing each other, pinky slightly curving, shoulders relaxed down through the ears, eyes looking up. Front knee is 90 degree on top of the ankle, between second and third toe. One more breath, roll the shoulder back, interlace the finger behind, Left comes down and away from me. Lifting chin up and head back. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. Looking up. One more breath. Slowly release. And we're going to come to a twist. Right arm forward. Left arm back. Stabilize yourself. Turn and look at the back. One more breath, slowly release. Both hands on the back toe side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the left foot up to the edge of the mat. Coming into a little regret. Feel free to come on the baby toe side of your foot. Rocking forward, backwards, side to side to open up the left hip bone. So those of you students, feel free to come up on your forearm, up on the back toes. Rocking forward, backwards. Now, if this is too intense for you, please push yourself back up to the hand level. So we're not dropping the head. Neck is long, spine is straight. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Pushing yourself back up. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the left foot back to the center of the mat. Getting ready for the twist. Turn the body to the left side. Right elbow on the outside of the thigh. Hands in prayer. Press the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thigh. If you want to come up on the back tools, lift the heel high, high up. 
Feel free to open up the arms for more resistance. One more breath. Slowly release. Hands on that. Make your way to the back of the mat for a hamstring stretch. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the right arm up. We lengthen first. Exhale. We hinge forward. Leading with the chest. Holding on to any part of the leg for the toe. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Taking your inhale breath to lengthen. Exhale. Bring the stomach a little bit closer. And feel free to slightly bend the knee if you have tight hamstring. One more breath, and we're going to slowly release. Make your way to the top of the mat. So we'll do another flow here. Hands on mat. Pack the back toes and step the left leg back. Come forward to plank. Slowly come down, two inches at a time. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale to down dog. Feel free to take a break during down dog. If you need, open it all out, release the head down, pushing the mats away, lengthening the spine, stretching our hamstrings, pigeon legs, left foot down, right leg up, three leg to split, bending into the back leg, look out underneath the right armpit for a twist. Swing the back leg all the way to the top of the mat. Right knee to right wrist. Flexing the foot will protect the right knee. Slide the back leg up. Back leg is straight and it's in the center. Bottom of your foot towards the sky. So we're not dropping the ankle one way or the other. Now, we're gonna lower down. Forehead on stack hands, stack fist. Or rest your forehead on your block. Feel three different heights of your block. And if you come lopsided, you're not going to feel anything. So pop your hips back to the center of the mat. Feel free to walk forward, backward, side to side, or come up on the back toes and rock. The stretch is here, right here, flexor. The modification of pigeon is figure four. So if you find that this version of pigeon challenging, please lie down on your back, going into a figure four. Same stretch. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Pushing yourself back up. We'll meet you in down dog. Tuck the back toes and step the right leg back. The fingertips spine high up, upside down let it be. Pushing the mat away, walking it all out. Pigeon on the other side, right foot down, left leg up. Three leg to split, bending into the back leg. Look underneath the left armpit fortress. And we're gonna sway the back leg all the way to the top of the mat. Left knee to left wrist. Flexing the left foot will protect your left knee. Slide the back leg up. Back leg is straight and it's in the center of the mat. Square the hip to the front. Slowly come down. Forehead on stack hands, stack fist, or on your block, your choice. The stretch is here. Left hip flexor. Opening up the hip joint. Helping people to relieve sciatica condition. Once again, the modification of pigeon is figure four. So feel free to lie down on your back, going into a figure four for modification. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Pushing yourself back up, pack the back toes and step the left leg back. We reach it down dog, walking it on foot. Release the head down, pushing the mat away. Now we're gonna drop to our knees, make your way to lie down on your stomach for back extension. Your legs are hip width apart, 
Top of the feet on the mat. Press on the top of the feet. Kneecaps automatically comes off. Hands by your chest. Forehead down. When you're ready, lift the hand chest up, hands off, kneecaps up, looking down to protect the neck. And we're going to stay here for five. All lying down on your stomach poses are to strengthen lower back muscles to support the spine, especially if you have back pain. One more breath. Slowly release everything down. Extend your arms forward. Coming into Superman. Forehead down, kneecaps up. Lifting your hand, chest up, arms off. If you can, lift your thigh up. Looking down. And we're going to stay here for five. Three. Two. One. Slowly and gently. Release everything down. Swing your arm behind your back. Going into a lotus. You can interlace the finger. Modification, arm by your side, not touching your body. Lifting the hand, chest up. Knuckles towards the hips. Leg and thigh up. Looking down. Staying here for five. Three. Two. One, slowly and gently. Release everything down. And we're going to come to a crocodile, so I'm sorry, T, shoulder side, legs are apart as far as the left, left cheek on the right, bending the right knee. So I close to the right elbow. Make yourself completely flat. As we stretch out the left side of the neck and opening up the right hip. Just relax. One more breath, and slowly, slowly release. Bring everything back to the center of the mat. Stack your hands on top of each other, bend both knees, windshield wiper. Dropping the knees from one side to the other side. You can either have forehead down or chin down, your choice. Feel the slight movement in your lower back. Your butt swaying side to side. Loosen up. So hopefully all these poses lying down on your stomach will strengthen lower back muscles to support the spine, especially if you have back pain. Now we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Coming into a bow, grabbing a hold of one ankle, a both ankle. If you can only do one ankle at a time, extend the opposite arm out. If you can grab a hold of both ankle, don't open up the thighs too much. Bottom of your feet towards the sky. Lifting the hand chest up. If you want to rock, rock. Forward, backward, side to side. And those who are doing one arm at a time, after a few breaths, switch side. Opposite arm, opposite ankle. Massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. Now slowly, slowly, coming back to center, to release. Coming into a seal, so legs are apart, as far as the mat. Spread all your fingers, elbows will be shoulders range. Shoulders relax down from the knees. Now you can stay here for beginners. If you want to push yourself up a little bit higher to the hand level, go ahead. More intensive stretch of the lower back. If this is too much for you, please lower down on your forearms. Chain is way on the body, eyes looking forward. So listen to your body on this one to avoid injury. One more breath, and we're going to slowly and gently release everything down. Going to pop it out on the other side, legs are already apart, arms are in T, shoulder height, right cheek on your mat. Bending the left knee, draw it close to the left elbow. Make yourself completely flat. As we stretch out the right side of the neck and opening up the left hip.
one more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly release, bring everything back to the center of the mat, pushing yourself up. To counter, we're going to go into child pose. Knees apart, big toes to tuck. Same the hip down onto the hips. Lower the forehead down on stack hands, stack fist, or on your block. Walking the fingers forward, elbows off the mat. So it's more important to stay the hip down, then you lower the forehead down. If you're not able to stay the hip down, so you rest your forehead on the block or stack hands or stack fist. Lengthening the spine. Opening up hip joint, ankle joint. Massaging internal organs. Massaging the third thigh. Calming the mind for a moment. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly pushing ourselves back. Now, so we're going to finish off. So we do a down dog again, lifting the hips high, high up, pushing the mat away, release the head down. Last down dog in the sequence, big, big stretch. Look between the hands that are hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up to flat mat. Exhale, forward bend. You will come to chair pose. Inhale, your arms up. Sit in your chair. Waiting your heels, should we see your toes? Look at your toes. Slightly tuck the tailbones in to protect your back. Don't push the knee beyond the toes here. And don't squeeze your thigh in tight. One more breath. I'm going to power out with the strong legs. Back bend. And then I'm down by your side into a mountain pose. So in your mountain pose, legs are here with the back, arms by your side, palm facing forward. Close your eyes for a moment, slowing down your heartbeat. Make a fist, inhale, shoulders up to your ears, make a tight, tight, tight. <sighs> Sign it out to release again. Inhale, your shoulders up, lots of tension here. Exhale. One last one. Inhale, shoulders up. Waiting tension in your body. Exhale, let it go. So when you come sit down, have a sip of water and meet it, and we'll go into seated. Bring the sole of your feet together. Wrap your hands around the ankle. Sitting up nice and tall. Walking side to side. Finding your sitting moves. And then we're going to flap like a butterfly. Opening up your joint. Shoulders relax down. Stomach and chest cut. Draw the heel close to you. Grab a hold of the big toe on the entire feet. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward, leaning on the chest. Bring the elbows on the outside of the shin. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Not dropping the head or rounding the back. Opening up hip joint, inner thighs. Not forcing yourself to come down. Working with your breath always to get into the alignment. One more breath and slowly, slowly coming back up. Waste your white curve. So keep your knees bent. This is hip width. Hands behind you. Bend your face in the same way as your feet. Dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it falls. Hips automatically come soft. Now we're going to open up and drop both knee to the right side. So this is 90, this is 90, 90 degree. Make sure the butt stay down. You should feel the stretch here. Put the side, hip joint. Look at the opposite side. You may find it a little bit of discomfort. So knees off if you find that this is too much, causing you a whole lot of pain and discomfort. One more breath, and you slowly bring both knee back to the center. You can wish your work for a few more times. Release any tension that you may have. And we're gonna open up and drop both knee to the other side. So once again, forming a 90, 90, you adjust the angle. Look at the opposite side.
One more breath, slowly curl back to center, straighten out the legs, bounce a few times. Get the flesh apart out from your butt, coming into the slap pose. Shoulders relax down from the knees, stomach and chest proud. Getting ready for a double leg forward then. Inhale, your arms up and lengthen. Exhale, we hinge. Grow longer. Holding on to any part of the feet, the legs, or release the hands on either side. Once again, keeping the neck and your spine aligned, not dropping the head or rounding the back. If you have very tight hamstring here, slightly bend the knee. Chin is away from the back. One more breath. Slowly, slowly come back up. Coming into one leg forward bend. My left is your right. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Inhale your arms up. We lengthen the spine. Exhale, we hinge. Leading with the chest. When you come down, stomach come down first. Chest. That is the last thing to come down. Just make sure you're not carrying any tension in your neck. Shoulders or upper back. One more round, and we're going to slowly, slowly come back up. Coming into seated twist, bring the bending on the outside of the straight leg. So, beginner, you can stay here. Those who can bend the bottom leg, go ahead. I'm going to do a modification on this side. So, opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to your body. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine or wrapped around your waist. Point the front toes up to the ceiling. Front arm can be stop sign hand, prayer hands, any variation you like. Overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. Massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox, and stretching lower back muscles as well. So this one is a good one to do if you have back pain. One more breath, and we're going to slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Down, down, counter twist. Bending the elbows, more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back and oblique the side of the body. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly curl back up. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Repeat one leg forward then on the other side. So set yourself up, get the flesh apart out from your butt. Inhale your arms up, we lengthen the spine. Exhale, we hinge. From the hips, leaning with the chest. Pretty soon your hands will be beyond your foot. So body is directly on top of the straight leg. Chin is away from the body, eyes open forward. For every inhale, breath to lengthen the spine. Exhale, we hinge forward. Stomach come down first, chest, that is the last thing. So we're not doing head to knee. Don't round the back or become a hunchback. Slowly, slowly come back up. Come into see the twist. Bring the bend leg on the outside of the straight leg. So beginning, you can stay here. Those who can bend the bottom leg, go ahead, both butts down, both feet on the ground. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you. Sit up tall. The other arm up and over. Bring it around right behind your spine and wrap it around your waist. Front arm can be stop sign hand, prayer hands, or front the front hand through this little tunnel. Keep turning. Using your exhale wrap to turn a little bit more. Training the systems. Look at the back. Stretching our lower back muscles. Massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. One more breath, and we can slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist. Bending the elbows, more room to come down. Make sure you feel the stretch here. The side of your body, oblique, and lower back as well. One more breath. And we're going to slowly, slowly pushing ourselves back up. Straighten out the legs. Pass a few times. Coming into the boat pose. So get the pressure pad out from your butt. Bend both knees. Come up on your tippy toes. Hands underneath the kneecap. Lift the feet up. First round. 
staying here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one slowly release. Come down. Catch your breath. Another round when you're ready. Lift your feet up. Now you can continue to support underneath your knees or by your side. Those who are ready for the next level, release your hands. And we're going to stay here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And release. Reset. One last round to go. So, hands underneath the kneecap, lift off. You can continue to hold on or let go, or we can sit on the hands for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very good, slowly release. Back to the And we're going to transition to lie down on the mat for reclining process. So take your time to come lie down. If you need water, take water first before you lie down. Bend your knees. Your spine will automatically release, keeping the natural curve in your lower back. And then by your side, palm facing down. We're going to set ourselves up for the bridge pose. So those who have a block, if you want to squeeze your block, place the block between your thighs. Walk the heel, close your fingertips. On the inhale, we're going to lift the hips high, high up. Roll the shoulder in underneath your bridge. Interlace the fingers. Pull the knuckles towards the heels. Keeping your hips high, high up here. Strengthening the core abdominal muscles your quarter and your glutes. So in other words, squeeze your stomach in tight, your thigh and your butt are firm, but not to the point of cramping. Strengthening the front abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. Now we're gonna come up on our tippy toes. So we're gonna lift the hips even higher up. All the weights in the shoulder, very little weights in the head or neck. Chin is arms touching the chest, stimulating thyroid gland. Release the hands from underneath your bridge. Inhale your arms up and over, fingernails on the floor. Keeping your hips high up for five, four, three, Two, while slowly release the arm back down by your side. Release the heel back down. One vertebrae at a time, release the spine down and you can remove your block. When you wipe for a few times, release tension, hip opener. Straighten out the legs. Coming into wind, releasing on the right side. Wrap your arms around the right knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Both legs are engaged. Inhale, relax the grip. Exhale, draw the knee closer to the chest or armpit. Massaging organs on the right side as well as ascending cobra. Coming into a spinal twist, right foot on left thigh. Using the left hand, gently guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Right arm on shoulder height, palm facing down. Turn and look at the right side of your neck is good. Stretch, strengthen, and tone the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. And we're going to slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Repeat when releasing on the left side. Wrap your arms around the left knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Inhale, relax the grip. Exhale, squeeze. So feel free to close your eyes and listen to my verbal instruction. As we massage organs on the left side, as well as descending core. From here, we're gonna go into spinal twist, left foot on right thigh, using the right hand to gently guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Feel free to extend the top leg if you have room. 
na palm out shoulder height. Palm facing up, palm facing down doesn't matter. As long as both shoulders and shoulder blades are off the mat. Feel the stretch in your lower back, creating spaces between L4 and L5, helping you to strengthen lower back muscles to support the spine. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs, bounce a few times. Bend both knees, wrap your hands around your knees, coming into knee to chest, rocking side to side, coming into big circular motion if you like, covering a big area, massaging lower back and sacrum, also helping you to relieve back pain and reverse your rotation. Slowly, slowly curl back to center, lifting your feet up to the sky, coming into happy baby, hands on the bottom of your feet, inner arch, outer arch, holding onto the big toes or any part of the legs, press down so that the knees are close to the armpit, rocking side to side, Massaging the entire spine, the entire back. Open up hip joint in the thighs. Slowly curl back to center. Extend your legs, flex the feet. Hands behind the kneecap. Let the blood circulate back to your heart, helping you with circulation. Energize your body, stretching our hamstrings, massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and improve sleep quality by popping your legs up. So you can do this in your home practice by leaning the legs against the wall or a piece of furniture. Sliding the head foot up the leg or grab a hold of the big tools, lifting the hand chest up, tailbones automatically comes up. One more breath and we will slowly release the head down. I'm down by your side. We're gonna do three rounds of leg lift. First round, lower down for seven. Six, five, four, three, two. When your legs are one feet off the ground, don't drop it, bend both knees, lifting the legs back up. Take a round here, second round. Lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. Don't drop it, bend both knees, lifting the legs up. Take a breath here. Last round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all the way down. Bounce it a few times. Now give your knees bend. We're going to roll over to the right side again. Getting ready to sit up for a moment. And before we close the class, we're going to sing on three times. So I'm giving you a moment to sit up I'm using my steel tongue drum to lead in. I'm not playing a song so I just want to let you hear the sound of this. Okay so we're going to take a deep deep breath in and sing on. Another round, I hope I'm not the only one singing on. So let's do it together. Take a deep, deep breath and on.
Very good. One last one. Take a deep breath in and oh. Very good. So bring your hands to heart center. Thank you very much for watching, sharing your positive energy with all of us and letting me guide you through this practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste. Thank you.